Hello, welcome to Solaris 10 Zones. I'm your host, Gabriel Smith, and this is the second video in installing and configuring zones. This video will be unlike the first video in, the, in that it will be a step-by-step uh, -step walkthrough. Okay. So the first thing that we want to do is that we want to see what we have. Well, let me just take a step back. Uh, before you install the zone, there's a lot of homework to be done. You have to figure out what attributes you want the zone to have before you actually uh, get to the point where you want to configure it. So figuring out what directory path you want the system files to be in uh, would be a good thing to figure out. One of the things you could do is that uh, you can type if conf config on your host operating system and see what network cards you have and figure out what network cards you want to use for the zone. As you can see I've, I've used the network card uh, E1000G0 a few times. I actually have a few zones running and I'm going to use it again. But needless to say there's a lot of planning and preparation you need to do before you even get to the point where you're ready to uh, create the zone. So with that said let's pretend I've done all that those uh, that arduous work and I know exactly what I want uh, one of the things I would do is type zone ADM list just to see what we have and again I'm using CVI just so that I can see everything and it looks like oh wow it looks like we have currently two zone non-global zones AppServe 1 and AppServe 2 one is running and one is incomplete. I'm going to create a new one. And to do that, I'm going to use zone CFG minus Z for the zone name, AppServe 3. And it comes back and it tells me that it doesn't exist. Type create to create one. So I type create. I'm going to set the directory path for where I want the installation files, files to be. Now I'm going to add the networking. I don't know why it froze. Okay. Okay. So for the pur purposes of this video, we're done basically. Um, now, of course, if you were creating the actual zone. Uh, to use in production or development purposes, you would want to put in more information in this. But for this video, this is all we need. So I'm typing info just to confirm my uh, input settings or configuration settings. Then the next thing to do is to type verify just to confirm that there's nothing wrong with the settings that you put in. And I didn't get any error messages, so I think we're good. Uh, it did tell me here that the default router was not selected, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Uh, commit to save the changes. And then exit. If we list ETC zones, we should be able to see our configurations. Okay, so we see the configuration for AppServe 1, 2, and 3. All of them uh, I have created. Okay, so now <coughs> I'm going to, uh, let's see here. All right, so after we have configured the zone, the next thing to do is to install the zone, and that's going to take a really long time. 
but I have a workaround. So as I said, this is going to take a really long time. You're not going to, we won't be able to get a chance to see that complete. So what I'm going to do is just open up a duplicate uh, session here. Okay. Alright, so let's pretend that we've installed the zone and the zone has completed. And now we want to configure the zone for the very first time. We can type zone login uh, minus capital C for configure minus E for the escape character. And we're going to choose a bracket. The escape character never really seems to work for me anyway, but we'll choose one. Okay, so now this is the error message that I think I was explaining in the first video. This thing is already in use, uh, simply because I'm in it in another screen. To get around this, if you ever get stuck, just go, just kill the process ID. Okay, so now we should be able to get in. taking a very long time uh, okay so it looks like we can't okay so okay so since I've already configured it it's not allowing us to do that again for the very first time but you know, long story dull, you would get the window that the same which you would get if you type in sys unconfig. There's nothing new about that window, so I won't um, really stress over that. Uh, if you've ever used sys unconfig or sysconfig before, it's the same options to choose the server name, the IP address. Uh, the domains that you use, the, dom the DNS that you use, whether or not you're going to use LDAP, so on and so forth. So at this point, we're just going to exit. Okay. Oh boy. I hope I don't get stuck. I think I'm going to get stuck. Hmm. Weird. Okay, so let's see if this escape character is going to work this time. No, the escape character is not working, so you know what? I am just going to open up a, a new terminal session to get around this. Alright, so it looks like I'm locked in here. Just one second. Okay, so for whatever reason you decided that you want to uninstall the zone, uh, so we're going to uninstall AppServe2. What you would first do is type zone ADM uh, Z for zone AppServe2. Halt to stop the zone. And that's going to take a second here. After you've halted the zone, you can list just to confirm that it's been halted and at this point we can see it's at the install state which is basically the not running state. I don't know why it just ever says not running or un or just you know the status is uh, 
yeah, not running. I don't know why it doesn't have that status, but it just goes from running to uh, install. So at this point, we type zone ADM minus Z uninstall. Oh, I'm sorry, not un uninstall. App serve to again uninstall. It asks us for confirmation. We say yes. I believe this may take a while. If it does, I'm going to end the video because I don't have any software to actually edit videos to uh, cut out, you know, the long uh, to, to to shorten the videos uh, to make them able to fit on YouTube. I'm probably just going to end this. But after this, the only other command that you would type is zone uh, delete. Okay, and we'll be able to do that. So zone ADM minus Z app serve two and delete. Oh, and actually, hmm. zone CFG. And it asks for confirmation. And that's it. So if we type zone ADM list CVI, we can see that the app serve two zone is no longer with us so that's pretty much it uh, if you have any questions comments or concerns uh, please send me an email at busy386 at gmail.com if there's any other videos that you would like me to do on Red Hat or Solaris please send me an email and send me an email if you have any questions comments concerns thank you